Your comments are very welcome. They're part of the public record. But we can't just stay the same and hope things get better. John Deere folks know that very well. My dad worked at Montgomery Wards. He was laid off. He wasn't reassigned. He wasn't given another opportunity. He wasn't told you have to take this job to this job. He was given a pink slip. Sprint, Alice Chalmers, Armco Steel. We don't want to be like that. We're making changes, and you know what? You may not agree with them, and we appreciate that, and that is why we're transparent and asking you folks to come out and share them with us. But please understand, if you're not happy the way things are going now, don't expect us to keep it the same way. We're trying to fix it, okay? And thank you for letting me get on my soapbox. You should have held the mic for me. Gary Pearson, I'm president of the North Platte Area Chamber Development Corporation. Uh, we represent 628 uh, local businesses and organizations. Um, our board of directors is unanimously on the record opposed to what's going on right now. And when you, uh, I would challenge what you say is transparent. Okay. If it wasn't for one brave postal employee here, many people would have never found out about this. You uh, echo George's comments that you put it on some remote federal website, they can, people check that. There's no way. See those folks? I told them. Yeah, well. Uh, on the news last night, this morning. Sure, yeah. After this has been, and last week. Yeah, after we forced the issue. We made it uh, public. It's part of the process, sir. We have the community meeting everywhere. So I'm not trying to argue with you, but I can assure you the media was notified. Our time, public comment. Thank you. Again, I'm going to ask for respect. You made a question, I answered it. We're good. We're good. We're good. We are good. Thank you. He made a comment, and I will answer his question, which is what I'm doing, not your question. Your question. So you, you took the floor for five minutes, giving the postal service stop, stop, allow the sir. public their time. You can stay till eight oh five, and we'll talk more about the meeting. That's fine. Go ahead. Yeah. For six weeks, we've been trying to talk to somebody from the Postal Service. Everybody here has a gag order on, so they can't talk. And they're, you can tell, they're fearful of saying anything. They told me the only person that could talk to us was some public relations person in Washington, D.C. I made a request to that. They give me a phone call, I explained who I was, I left my car, never heard a word, not one. Okay, so this, I'm going to take the floor back. This isn't a real fair representation. The media is here. There are frequently asked questions for you. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. It's transparent in the fact that it's not been decided yet. We have a process in place. The media was notified months ago the process is taking place. The media will be notified immediately once we have findings. So again, I'm not trying to- George, were you notified? I wasn't notified until a week ago. <laughs> I'm so sorry, George. I'm not arguing with you. I swear to God, I'm not. The media is here and we notify them. So I'm sorry. One argument we would make, in addition to some of the other things we've heard, is that what makes sense to put a regional processing center in North Platte still makes sense today. It probably makes more sense today than what you're trying to reroute. And we don't believe those statistics one bit. There's no way that it has that kind of time. Local mail, meaning mail originating here and destinating here, would not be delayed under this plan. While this type of mail would travel first to the Denver PNDC to be processed before returning back to the LPC, it is important to know that local mail has a two-day service standard now and will continue to have a two-day service standard. In fact, no cat calls, please. All right. Time out. We're not gonna have a productive meeting if we have cat calls and everybody getting upset at me. If she says something you don't agree with, that's fine. You have your opinion. Please let her finish the presentation. In fact, these changes will make our process more efficient and dependable because most mail does not stay in the local area, but is destined for other regions. Moreover, processing the local mail pack packages at the Denver PNDC allows for the aggregation of mail pieces that enable fuller trays after sortation and reduce all overall the number of trays being sent to downstream facilities across the country. Please stop with the American Postal Workers Union Local 619 President.
Um, I wanted to address the issue of, you're saying there's a two-day delivery standard. Right now in North Platte, according to the USPS website, it states that our average turnaround is 1.8 days for first class mail. Mail coming from Denver with originating in Denver to North Platte for first class letters state it's a 3.4 day turnaround. So therefore, you're going to be adding time because you're adding miles for originating mail. And then on top of it, if I mail a package to Omaha, because I have to quite often as a union person, it's going to go to Denver first and then to Omaha. It does not make sense. It does not make financial sense at all. And it does not make sense for our community. Because one, yeah, you're saying there's going to be no layoffs. But what the public doesn't know is our contract allows accessing. Where in this facility, 50 miles from this facility, is there a facility for one of us to go to? There's not. There is no Article 12 access. There will be though, because you're you're it, it says you're ne net decreasing five bargaining unit co career employees. You're incorrect. That's what your intent of the notice of letter, your initial findings say five bargaining unit employees. There is no Article Twelve accessing event. I'll believe that when I see it. Thank you. Now we're done. I'm sorry. Thank you. Well, I just had a couple questions. Um, one related to what she just said, uh, she said the initial findings you said five craft employees, and I believe on your presentation it said 14. So is it five or 14 craft employees you're going to be? It's 14 from this facility that would be transferred to or from if they chose to go, a net of five between both facilities. Okay, and those employees, um, they, they did take the option to transfer. Does the post office help? help them with their move in any way? I don't have those specifics, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I do. I work for the post office. They call not lesser management. So, you're, you might say our roster has gone down by 20 employees over the last year. I apologize to anyone whose mail has been delayed, but we have not been given a fair chance because actually, right now, I heard from my boss last night that our package running machine ranks at the top of the nation and as fast as, as its throughput, its efficiency. Why would you take mail from one of those facilities that's processing it fast and give it to a facility that isn't processing it as fast? Correct. This is to reduce the transportation notes. 60 RPBCs. Okay. I get medical, I get my medicine that comes out of Kansas City. It goes to Omaha, passes North Platte, goes to Denver, and then comes back. Yes, ma'am, I just got some yesterday. I know what technology can do, and I know how it scares people. This is just a process of evolution. Things are going to get better, bigger, and faster, and you're going to see changes. I see my mail carrier now hauling packages for Amazon. If I'm understanding you correctly, that mail is now going to go from that post office to this post office to Denver, back, and then to our post office within two days. Okay. <laughs> it's a two-day service standard now, and it's anticipated to stay a two-day service standard for Okay. No, and I can tell you, being out of those three communities, those two-day standards aren't being held right now. Thank you for Have you spoke to those communities to find out the issues that they're having before proceeding to a larger scale? This is the public comment for the North Platte facility. Okay. In, no, uh, craft employees being reassigned, uh, will they retain their pay or will they retain their career position? All reassignments will be done in accordance with the collective bargaining unit agreement. Okay. What do you consider local? What town? Do you consider, do you, I'm sorry, do you consider, uh, what is it, Maxwell, or? Maxwell, Brady, Brady. Brady. Yeah. 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 Hershey, correct, correct. Okay, are those considered local or not? They absolutely are. Anything that originates in this area that is being worked in, handled in North Platte right now, 
is considered local originating volume. Zip code 69012 and 3, I believe, are considered local mail for the, the community. During COVID, it's a fact that the mail processing was coming from Denver and the Dunn plant because there was a shortage in that center, and we know that. So it was being worked here. That's number one. We do have weather. We just had the interstate closed for two or three days. That's a consideration when we talk local weather. Uh, that affects us all. It's weather and nature, so that's going to have an effect. What about the 6 8 zip code where it starts just 40 miles down the road? 680 or 687, 687, 689 in Bullworth, in Omaha. In Omaha. Correct. So will the mail go from here to Omaha or will it go to here from Denver, then to Omaha? If you're mailing something to Grand Island, yes. it will go to Omaha and back. It'll go directly to Omaha. Correct. But when when we get uh, no response from the, the decision makers and very little information, it's very disturbing. And, you know, I have people that come in and they don't want to use computers. Most invoices and bills are paid with checks through the mail. And if you think it seems like progress to some gentleman over there to privatize this system, you're wrong. It's a public service and it's supposed to operate for the benefit of the public. And that's the way it's designed, that's the way it's mentioned in the Constitution. So, thank you for your comment. Thank you for your comment. When you look at the investment you intend to make, 2.3 million here at this facility, an increase of packages mileage 540 miles does not save money. This will increase costs and it will lower your service to us, your consumers. What about all those casuals that work at the post office right now that will be out of a job? How many of those? One. There's one more. One a casual employee out there? They're called free careers, and I believe North Platte has one free career employee working in the facility right now. Mm -hmm. issue, that's why we're asking for your comment. It's part of the public record, so it's been noted and will be reviewed, but okay. she can't answer that. You didn't tell me how it's going to make it faster for me. She can't tell you that. She's not in charge of the delivery service, the delivery operation. She can't make a decision for that. Now we're arguing semantics and we can't do that. Valentine to North Black took mm -hmm. three days if the weather was good. Now we're going to go to Denver, back to North Platte, back to Valentine, and then out to a ranch. Again, I'm going to thank you for your comment and I'm going to wait for the next person. Thank you. My husband owns a business in settlement. It takes more than two days for me to send the bills out and to get to those people. So it's by going to Denver is not going to help that two day because we don't have two day now. For 25 years, my family raised 10,000 broiler chickens. They would come through your post office. They would be hashed in Norfolk on Wednesday. We would get them in Sutherland at the Sutherland Post Office at 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Okay? All of a sudden, six, seven years ago, that changed. They were staying in Omaha for two days. Do you know what happens to a chicken when it stays in Omaha for two days? Okay. Last year, it was a week. 300 chickens. We now butcher for local people five to 7,000 chickens a year in, in this area that buy chickens through the mail. And they are getting chickens that are not with us anymore. The question I forgot. So if I am going to uh, drop a letter in a blue box here in North Platte or the surrounding area, Arnold, Joplinburg, whatever, when will it be canceled by Denver? Just assuming, because that's where you can send it to Right? Am I getting that right? That night. That night. It was, it's so, so if I drop it in there and the pickup time is at 5 p.m., it's going to be canceled in Denver by midnight. <laughs> okay, but not that night. So we run several of our machines past midnight. Okay. We don't stop and change the day at midnight, and I'm not going to get into semantics with a postal employee. So thank you for your comment. I, I, was, I, I was asking as a customer. You're fine. 
I'm asking as a customer. I understand. If I want to pay my bill, it has to be postmarked on a certain day. I understand. I just need, everyone needs to know when they're. And I need to be postmarked. And that will be part of the public comment. Thank you. 